Okay, sorry. And we're, we're starting to train our young surfers. And for whatever this is worth, uh, I think one of those may actually be myself and my daughter. And we also have uh, a surfer that was three years old, just turned four. So we've had a lot of fun with that as well. Welcome to WebFest Global. Um, one thing I wanted to say here is, to me, WebFest Global, I, I actually spoke to someone at breakfast this morning that said he hadn't been here since 2007. And I said, well, why did you suddenly decide to come? And he said, you know, because it's changing so much. And that was part of my thinking when we went from Domain Fest Global to WebFest Global, that we're really expanding what we do with domains. For example, you're going to hear a lot in this week about uh, mobile. I think mobile is huge, and I'll be telling you what Oversee is seeing in terms of mobile. You're also seeing social. Even last night, several people said to me everything they're seeing with social is pretty uh, extreme. You're seeing a lot of buying and selling of domains, obviously with the new GTLDs as well. And finally, I think you're seeing a lot of build out of web businesses and online uh, branding. So I, I see a lot of opportunity this week to talk about different things that we can do with our domains. To talk about the event roadmap, by the way, I'm not used to standing still. I usually walk back and forth. But to talk about the event roadmap, we really have six categories. We have what we call workshops, which I think there are several very good ones. We have presentations. And the keynote fireside chat with, I keep forgetting her name. Anyway, we'll be having uh, Kim, that's right. We'll have Kim tomorrow morning, and I think a lot of people have told me they want to be in this front row, so we'll see how that goes. And we'll also have mobile advertising trends, events, the moniker auction, which will be tomorrow from at 4 o'clock, from 4 till 5 o'clock, 5.30 approximately. Thursday, we have what we call Pitch Fest, and I think most of you are familiar with that. It's where people come up and pitch their business ideas. And we have some excellent judges this year, a couple of them I know personally from Southern California, and they're very good at what they do. And then finally, the panels section. Um, I think this happens to be one of the highlights of WebFest Global, that we have excellent speakers this year. And I think we probably have even better speakers this year than we have in the past. So I look forward to most of those panels. Finally, last but not least, is the networking that we have throughout the event and the social events, which, of course, with this crowd tends to be quite popular. The, tonight's reception, it's at La Sandia and Zango restaurants, which are very local here. And it's a renowned uh, Mexican cuisine chef. And again, I don't think this crowd would be that interested, but we do, it does have over 200 tequilas, for those of you that might be interested. I've also heard from uh, a little birdie that there are several parties afterwards. I think there's a big poker event. And I also think that there is a, a water school party from what I've heard. Hello, Greg. Tomorrow evening, I've had a lot of people say they're excited by this. It's the Endeavor Shuttle will be at the uh, Science Center. And for those of you that don't know the history of the Endeavor shuttle, it flew uh, 25 different uh, space trips. And the actual tiles, uh, they'll tell us, I think, tomorrow night, a couple of the hot tiles were about to come off. So they said the last two trips, it was kind of shaky as to whether the shuttle would even make it or not. We'll also have uh, astronaut Garrett Reisman, who will make a special appearance, and he himself rode on that shuttle several times. And then I couldn't help but include this. Uh, several months ago, when the shuttle came to Southern California, they flew it around the Los Angeles area on a 747. And at Oversee, for those of you that have not been at our offices, we have uh, an excellent view from about the 40th floor of a high rise in Los Angeles. And we saw the plane about that close to us as it was driving by. So again, I really look forward to tomorrow evening. Finally, on Thursday, we're going to go to Magic Castle. Uh, I can tell you, I've been there before, and the top magicians in the world love to come and perform at Magic Castle. So it's a beautiful Victorian home, and again, it's, it's got some of the best magicians, but they tend not to tell you their secrets. Also, I just want to stress the new networking feature. 
Uh, we uh, have both tables, we have a, a mobile app, and we are encouraging networking, and I know it's already occurring from everything I'm seeing. Finally, a big thank you to our sponsors, our gold sponsor, VeriSign Domain Sponsor, our bronze sponsors, GoDaddy, Lole, Affinity, Above, and Moniker Snap Names, and then our contributing sponsors and exhibitors. So thank you very much for helping the show to be as successful as it has been. Great. Am I allowed to walk away from the... Not yet? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I like to walk. Um, now, I wanted to hit three different trends on what's trending, and these were three areas that I just felt were really important in our industry right now. And the first one I also spoke about last year, and I, I probably don't need to say much because I think we all know how much mobile is growing, but it is the mobile explosive growth. And I did have to add one slide that talks about the industry and the sheer amount of growth, both in mobile apps and mobile advertising. And you know, I could, I could have done this entire presentation just on the growth of mobile, but I did just want to include the one slide. But maybe more importantly to me, I wanted to show you a slide from actual overseas traffic. And we've spent several months working on being able to identify both our mobile traffic and down to device type. And since June of 2012, we are seeing a shift, a one-to-one -one shift from desktop to mobile. We also, starting in 2012, we were about 12 to 13 percent average mobile across our entire network. By the end of 2012, we were up at 18 to 20 percent total traffic being mobile. And what I thought was just amazing, as you see the number there, in December of 2012, 27 percent of our traffic was mobile. And I want to make sure, if I give no other message out here to the crowd today than this, if you don't know how much of your traffic is mobile, you better start figuring it out because it's becoming bigger and bigger. When we see that 27% of our traffic is mobile, if you don't know that, you're probably not monetizing it properly. I'm guesstimating that by the end of this year, we'll be up in the 37, 38% mobile. So what are we doing with mobile? We're doing quite a bit, actually. We have specific domain sponsor mobile landers that we've developed. We're monetizing across multiple ad providers. We're optimized, and I think this is important for you to understand. We're optimizing across feature phones, smartphones, and the tablet. And we've done a lot of new programming to review, test, and better monetize the mobile traffic. And I think there's a lot of opportunity that we can do with, with all of you and your mobile traffic. Mobile lander optimizations, here's a couple. We've also hired a new general manager of mobile who has about nine years with mobile at uh, uh, Yellow Pages, AT&T, and he is helping us to design the mobile uh, optimizations. For smartphones, we're actually doing app searching. So we can go in and help app uh, uh, people that are actually building apps. We can help them based on our traffic. This is becoming big. We've had a lot of app uh, advertisers that have contacted us to see if we could do this with them. For feature phones, we're actually doing local search, and we're partnering with companies like Google to do local search on feature phones. So again, depending on device type, we can monetize better. And finally, I want to introduce Dwayne Walker, who's the GM of Domain Sponsor, and he's going to talk about some of the new opportunities and some of the new initiatives that we've just implemented. Dwayne? Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. How's everybody doing? Well, I wanted to uh, give you guys a little bit of uh, insight as to uh, what's going on with, at uh, Domain Sponsor, not only with the new landers, but with our new Domain Sponsor mobile app. Uh, this morning, we uh, announced uh, a, a simultaneous availability across the Apple Store, um, the Google Play Store for uh, Android users, as well as on the Amazon Kindle Store. So for all three platforms, we have the mobile app available simultaneously on all major, uh, major platforms. I mean, we're very excited about this. I know there's those of you 
in the audience who weren't sure if Domain Sponsor or Oversee was committed to the business. We're extremely committed to this business. Uh, the business is a, still the largest portion of our company. I hope you can tell by our investments in mobile that Deborah already covered, plus our, our, our mobile app, just how uh, committed we really are. Uh, with the mobile app, you're able to get account summaries, domain statistics, and other valuable information so you can see what your domain earnings are and, you know, just basically what it really comes down to, how much money are you making uh, on the domain side of your, uh, your investment portfolio. Uh, so this account summary allows you to look at how are you doing today either by day, by week, by month. You can compare one week versus another, year over year, and so forth at an account summary level. But for some of you, I'm sure you want to be able to go deeper and look at information beyond just uh, the account summary. So we do provide uh, the ability to look at either on a portfolio level. So those of you with large portfolios, you probably have your domains in multiple portfolios that you're measuring that performance. So we allow you to, in any place in the world, on the go, 24 hours a day, to check your performance um, for your domains at a portfolio level. Or if you want to look at them on an individual domain level, you can look at either view, switch back and forth real time. Uh, and this is provided, you know, based on our core technology that provides all your stats 24 hours a day. In addition to that, we thought it would be good to give you your top 100 domains. You can look at all your domains, but you have a very rapid, quick view of your top 100 domains to see how they're performing. Are they up? Or are they down? Of course, if they're on domain sponsor, they're always up. That's the reason you notice it's only, only green here, or mostly green. We try to make sure that uh, uh, we do a great job of optimization on the mobile as well as desktop, as well as tablet platforms. So we have a big investment here in, in providing the statistics. We also provide that same level of, of data, both at a country level. So if you want to see, I mean, how, how is my revenue doing, um, you say, coming from China, coming from Brazil, coming from India, coming from the United States? You do have the ability to look at this uh, information on a, on a country basis, once again, at your fingertips 24 hours a day from any mobile or uh, tablet device. Uh, you can check your domain settings. You can see if the domains are performing well or not performing well. Is it related to the lander settings? Is it related to other, maybe your key, forced keywords? Maybe you've chosen certain keywords that either are causing your portfolio or domain to perform very well or not as well. So you can see what your domain uh, level stats are as well as the settings. Um, you can also sort by date, and you can look at, um, look at other uh, key information. We'll also be providing uh, uh, important messages. Uh, these messages will not only be customer service related information, but it will also include domains that we make available for sale. So there, we have a very large portfolio. Um, as many of you have inquired about purchasing domains that we own, or some of you have inquired about selling us domains. Uh, we will be making announcements about a selective group of domains that we make available, they'll only be announced th through the mobile app. So if you don't have the mobile app, you won't know, and some, obviously someone else will have the ability to pick up those, uh, those domains. Now, beyond that, that investment, well, first of all, how, how, you guys like that? Is that a pretty cool app? Yeah, cool. All right, so besides what we're doing in mobile, I want to give you a little bit of idea also, what are we doing beyond just our investment in mobile? Uh, as Deborah mentioned, huge investment in mobile landers. We have our domain sponsor mobile app. But uh, there's a lot of other things going on in this space. If we look at the general growth of the, of the domain industry, as you can see here from VeriSign, I mean, there's a tremendous base. I mean, people talk about whether the domain business is growing or shrinking and so forth. Frankly, I think the opportunity is huge. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, over 15 years, well before I even got to oversee. I, you know, been in the domain space a long time. And I, I tell you, I'm very excited about the opportunity uh, that, that's in front of all of us as an industry. I think this growth chart of 121 uh, million names, a growth of 6.4% just in the space related to .com and .nets, that's you know, not counting .org, it's not counting .info, it's not counting .co or all the new GTLDs and so forth. So the opportunity, whether you're in the registrar business, aftermarket sales, the parking, affiliate sales opportunities, a wide variety of opportunities exist in the space and we continue to expect to see growth. Um, I can tell you in the case of Domain Sponsor, we had one of our strongest years ever in 2012. Our Q4, we had year-over-year -year growth in Q4, um, both in our core third-party business as well as our owned and operated. Uh, we also saw strong growth in our domain web business, uh, which Deborah's going to talk more about. So across the board, we had a very strong 2012. And expect that to continue here in 2013. Uh, our mobile traffic is growing uh, tremendously, as Deborah mentioned, from 12 to 20 and now up to 27%. In, um, in terms of mobile monetization, uh, with all the work that Deborah outlined in terms of what we're doing to increase revenues and earnings for our partners. 
We're now in over 30 countries uh, in terms of what I call major countries. We do business in a lot more than 30, but 30 major companies that we provide earnings power for our partners and customers. In terms of our priorities, uh, you're going to hear us all say mobile, 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 mobile hundreds and hundreds of times this week, and it's for a reason. The, the, the focus here was we want to be the market leader within this space in providing the necessary technologies to increase earnings and opportunities in the mobile space. We're also investing heavily in large data, so-called big data opportunities, so we can analyze that data, look at keyword optimization, lander optimization, country optimization, to really look at opportunities using big data analysis to optimize the delivery of performance for our customers. We're also investing heavily in multivariant testing that allows us to test many different lander combinations, many different keyword combinations, and to test them real time in a very rapid basis to determine which combinations are the most profitable for our customers, and then hone in and lock in on those opportunities. Uh, we're opening up our APIs to make both our PubMan API available to the entire industry and to our customer base, bid management that we used for web-based uh, bid management for web properties. So if you're building out websites and you're buying traffic from Bing, Google, or other providers and you're looking for bid management uh, capabilities, we're making many investments there and then making those investments open via our bid management API, as well as APIs in the travel arena and many others. So what I'd like to do is turn it back over to Deborah and have her talk a little bit about wh where are we going with our domain brands and web businesses. I think this is a part of a business that people don't know a lot about that overseas involved in, so let me turn it back to Deborah. Okay, thank you. They got this working, so now I get to walk around. Okay, so for web businesses, as uh, Dwayne mentioned, we have a, a department called Vertical Markets. And again, when I was having uh, dinner last night and breakfast this morning, several of the individuals said to me that we're just starting to build out our web-based uh, domains. That's what we think we need to do. So I, I think there are several important areas with regard to kind of building out domains. One is social sharing. And needless to say, I mean, I don't need to tell you, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, again, even last week with that surfing, it's like within hours, I probably had, you know, pings from about 50 people. And just what you can share with people anymore is, it's really changing the way we live. So what's trending? I think visualization of content. Pinterest, obviously, has become very popular. So as we're building out our websites, we're looking at much more the UI, the user experience. How do you build it out? How does that change what people buy and how people interact with both the app and the web itself? I also think the proliferation of personal real-time content. Again, not only LeBron, but Kobe. It was, it was kind of funny being in Los Angeles. Uh, Kobe has said he didn't want to get on the Twitter. And about 30 days ago, he decided to go on the Twitter, and now they say it's crazy. He, it's exploding. He's every time before a game and right after a game, he's you know kind of going at some of his teammates. But now everybody is watching Kobe on Twitter, and he himself, I, I actually heard an interview that he did the other day, and he said, I have never reached so many people so quickly as I have now that I'm on Twitter. So this is changing how we live, and it changes, I think, how we use our domains and how we build them out as well. Asset sharing. This is a common uh, kind of a terminology that I'm starting to use. It's from asset heavy to asset light. And I thought these were some very interesting statistics. 8% is the amount of the time an average American uses their car. I actually, one of my uh, comrades here from New York City said he has a car, but the only time he really uses it is when he takes his dog to the groomer. So what you're seeing, especially in larger cities, yes, I see you laughing, what you're seeing in larger cities is they have now services, and Zipcar is one of them, where you can actually just you know, rent a car for the afternoon or for a couple hours. And so again, it's a whole different way of managing the power drill. I, I had a friend not that long ago go out and buy a multi-thousand dollar power drill, and the average minutes per lifetime that you'll use a power drill is six to 13 minutes. So, so why would you go out and buy a multi-thousand dollar power drill? Well, you don't need to. If you go to Zylock.com or Neighborhoods, you can actually rent a power drill. And I know this may sound a little silly, but this is how we 
for changing. This is what you have to start doing as you're looking at different apps and different web-based uh, applications. The other one that, of course, is becoming popular is the whole couch surf. People from 235 countries, approximately 3 million of them now, have used sites, either Airbnb or couch surfing, to actually you know, have an evening or rent a house for a couple days. So again, the hotel's method is still there, but it's starting to kind of go away. It's a whole different way of interacting on the web. Our web business today is domain brands plus web developments. Our web business is we generate over 30 million revenue per year. We reach over 100 million people per year. And we have over 5 million registered customers just within our travel web business alone. That's basically three sites. So I think the opportunity is really there, and we do have the tools that we've built up over the years to really take advantage of both the traffic acquisition side of this, as well as some of the engineering pieces. I just wanted to share a couple of the sites that we are in beta on as we speak or will be within 30 to 60 days. One is a discovery and sharing site for niche travelers, and it's trip discovery tools, social travel planning, and getting there is half the fun, a personalized way to get there, and deals and targets. And we're going to start rolling that out at the beginning of March. Another one with my retail friends over here is we are going to be doing a retail discovery and loyalty um, application. And this will be a combination of cashback, coupon, searching for items, and location-based services. So we will have a location-based app where you can go in and quickly, based on identifying a particular product you're interested in, see if there's any cash back and coupons and where you can find it locally. We think it's going to be like the first one in the United States, and I know we're also excited about the European opportunity. Finally, here's another one. Push over it. This is a uh, closet um, being able to trade clothes for young kids, and we're actually quite excited by it. It's an app that's going to be going out at the end of March, early April, and we're actually very excited about it, um, but we couldn't get it to work quite right. So finally, to uh, end, I wanted to introduce our management team. Uh, I think they're all on site right now. Uh, Dwayne, Elizabeth, Jean, Todd, and Aaron. And then for our vertical markets team, uh, Raj, Min, and James. And please, you know, stop by, see them, you know, try to, try to catch up with them. They can give you uh, their thoughts on things we're working on. And I want to thank you very much. Also for the WebFest ambassadors, so if you need any help uh, this week or need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to them as well. And finally, I think what's really important here is that we partner, we learn, and we have fun. Thank you very much.
Oh, okay. Okay, then I'm the second. That would be me. Great. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Chairs are comfortable enough, please. The chairs are comfortable enough. Yeah, I want a little sleep. Yeah. So you were with your um, your Dan for two. Dan. Dan. He is the donuts guy. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. I'm the IDN guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fascinating times. You guys are uh, really cut the tiger by the tail. That's right. right. I believe so. I think so too. Yeah. Uh, Time will tell. But, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Great. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay. it's, it's like show business. I used to be involved in productions. It's, you don't know what's going to work, what, you know, what shows are going to catch fire, what are not. Yeah. You work on them all, you try hard, but. Right. I mean, you certainly had a long time to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> we keep you busy if you like. 10, 20, 50 years. <laughs> Keep you out of trouble. <laughs> I think you guys will be fine. <clears throat> Connecticut, Westport. Very nice. Nice part of country. A little cold these days, but. And you are? Well, I'm from London. Yeah. yeah. But I live here. Yeah. In LA? Yeah. yeah. It's wonderful. I'm going to tell you what, you guys are all out here now. Yeah. Well, between our main offices are in LA and in Smackdown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you think uh, get through some of these utilities this year uh, at the Icon pace, or? Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, the IBM is for sure. Yeah, we have the IBM. I know. Yeah. The Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Our first one is coming up. Yeah, so, you know, I know. We'll be in the first week. Yeah, China is a big question, a bigger, uh, a more open question for how the language is going to mutate and take. Great enough. Great enough. But it's the great. It's still the great. It's huge. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Just leave it sitting here. Well, and I, this one's working. I've kind of been involved. That's good. For about I want to be heard. Now, <laughs> I wrote some patents on it early on. Developed the first browser. We have a very large uh, game portfolio. Yeah, that's why I think you guys are doing. You know, it's great. Yeah, it's perfectly appropriate. It's, uh, and I think uh, some of these cars too. We do some development. So this is the end game for the end. To the right of the dot. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, Oh, well, you guys did pretty good. <clears throat> I saw your list. So we've developed some kind of expertise in marketing in languages over the years with the IBM because you're dealing with all these different languages. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> saw your list. You hit some good keywords. 